your mother and your wife who comes first this is one question that have bothered a lot of men many men do not know whether to put their wife or their mothers first my name is Okoro Blessing in Kiroka and I'm popularly known as Blessing CEO your number one relationship therapist in Africa I'm about to answer that question that is bothering you who am I supposed to put first when I get married do I put my wife do I put my mother a lot of women are also competing with their mother-in-laws eh I'm the wife now so you have to put me first the first thing is that question is a foolish question because the love you have for your wife and the love you have for your mother is entirely different. As a man, when you get married, we assume that you are matured. So you must understand what is called priority. Priority gives you that sense of responsibility to know what to do for both parties, your mother and your wife. You don't need to start to compete on who to put first or who not to put first. It's a different kind of love. The love is different. The love you have for your wife is not the love you have for your mother. Because you're having sex with your wife and you're not having sex with your mother. First of all, that question is not even supposed to come up if you are married to a good woman. Because any woman that decides to marry you should be able to accommodate your mom. Any woman as a man you are getting married to that cannot accommodate your mother should not marry you because your mother is part of you. Your mother is family. Your mother is blood. You have some traits of your mother. Your mother is the one that brought you up. So a woman must be ready to accommodate your mother if they want to marry you because your mother is part of you. Why do they call it family? Why do they say, okay, you're getting into a marriage. You're not going to marry just the man. You're going to marry his family, you're marrying his baggage, you're marrying everything about him. So first of all, if that question is coming up, who do I put first? There is actually, actually a problem in that marriage. Yes, a lot of young women today have a very wrong perception. Some of them get into a marriage and say, my mother-in-law is the problem, my mother-in-law is wicked, my mother-in-law is that. And you see some women actually get into a marriage, they start to compete with a man's mother. That is what is called arrant foolishness. You do not compete with a man's mother because the love is different entirely different if you start to compete with a man's mother it simply means as a wife you don't even know your role and you don't even know your function there are two different roles but a lot of women have not been able to understand their roles as as wives so most of them sometimes you see them dragging with their mother-in-law saying their mother-in-law wants to break their home blah 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 and oftentimes it's because maybe their husband listened to their mothers Mm -hmm. you, we call them mama's boy those men that always run to their mom at every slightest opportunity so because they are always confiding in their mom their wife just feel like ah this is a battlefield let's fight but the honest truth is there is no war between your mother-in-law and the daughter-in-law the love is just entirely different you're fighting a lost battle you're fighting a battle that does not exist because the love a man has for his wife and the love a man has for his mother is entirely different you cannot lose both parties you need both parties in your life your mother and your wife so you must learn how to manage this as a man that is what actually makes you a man it's like saying between your wife and your daughter who do you love more or between your wife and your sister who do you love more that's why i said it's a foolish question there's a position for everybody everybody has a role that they are playing in your life the question should be priority priority very very important when you prioritize it simply means understanding what you should do for one another exactly understanding their role understanding where you should do your responsibility that's what's called priority you put them on your list knowing what you should do when they pay you salary you know that okay one thousand goes to my mom two thousand goes to my wife three thousand goes to so, so, so let's focus more on priority as a man when you get married understand what is called priority know your responsibility know what is due to your mother know what is due to your wife know what is due to your sisters know what is due to everybody that's what makes you a real man and like i said from the beginning if you're a man can you stop accommodating a woman who does not like your mother because first of all for this question to be arising in a relationship or in a marriage it simply means there's already a problem when there is comparison between your wife or your mother or your mother is asking you to choose from your wife there's already a loophole you need to fix that loophole even before you get married to that woman or even if you've gotten married to do you need to fix it you need to bring your mom and your wife together and make them understand that you people are not dragging anything my wife is my wife my mother is my mother they cannot play the same role my mother gave birth to me and my wife is going to give birth to my children so you guys are not playing this there's nothing to fight about i love you both i used to tell a lot of women don't go into a family that the mother does not like you 
I know a lot of women are stubborn. You hear them say, I love him like that. When you go into a family that the mother does not like you, it's going to be difficult. Very, very difficult. Why did I say difficult? Especially in this part of the world called Africa. Maybe outside the world, it can be easy for you because outside the world, they can just marry and everybody's minding their business. But in this part of the world called Africa, where family wants to know that their children are doing well, family want to interfere, family are more like the roof because we have culture. So in this part of the world called Africa, if you have to marry, please, if the mother does not like you, please try and make her like you before the guy marries you, except there will be a problem. No matter how much you love a man, there will be rainy days. There will be quarrel, there will be misunderstanding. There must always be a moderator, somebody that can come between the both of you and settle problem. And when your mother-in-law like you, marriage becomes easier, marriage becomes sweeter, marriage becomes exciting. Yeah, I'm telling Fine. you. So try to make your mother-in-law like you. If you try and she does not like you, leave her son alone. Then if you try to make your mother-in-law like you, your mother-in-law does not like you, it is now your husband's responsibility to make his mother like you. Yes, your husband can actually make his mother like you, depending on the impression he has given to the mother about you. A lot of mother-in-laws don't actually like their daughter-in-laws because of perception. Maybe some Sometimes in their culture, something has happened in this particular state. Example, my mom don't like a doe man because I married an Edo man and the marriage did not work. So if she just hears anything, Edo, hey, no, 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 it's just a perception. It doesn't mean a doe men are, are bad. So a lot of mother in laws actually have what is called perception. They would have heard stories, they would have had some experience that make them say no, they'll just conclude. So it's left for the man to come and say no. Mommy, I'm not marrying where she's from. I'm marrying her. This is what this woman has done for me. This is what the impact she has put into my life. Without this woman, you give your parents reasons. That's what a lot of people have not started doing. Many of you do not give your parents candid reasons why you want to marry who you want to marry. And you know, in this part of the world, our parents always want to feel like they are part of our life. You just hear a lot of young people shouting, I love him. I love him. And I'll marry him. Let him go. No, that is not enough. Because our parents still see us like kids. Love is not enough. A lot of our parents are looking out for us. Give up. Give your parents good reasons. Mom, this is the reason why I want to marry this girl. While I was in school, she was the one that assisted me. While I was breaking down in my job, she sourced for me. Even if your mother is a witch, she's going to love the girl because she understands that the girl has put in an impact in your life. It's not just love, 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 love. So if you give your parents candid reasons why you're actually marrying that person, they will come around to love them. But the problem now is a lot of you don't even know why you're getting married. That is the issue. So because you don't even know why you're getting married, you don't even know what to tell your parents when you want to get married to these people. So that is where your sense of responsibility and work comes in. Why are you getting married to the person you're getting married to? Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at me? Why are you getting married to the person? Love is not enough. Give us a more candid reason. So if you want your parents to love the person you're getting married to, you need to give them a more candid reason more than I love them and I love them. No, there should be an impact in your life. Let your parents be able to see the value the person is bringing into your life. Let your parents be able to see that person through your eyes, that you are safe with that person. The person is taking you to the next level. Trust me, there is no mother or any father that is going to see somebody that wants to bring progress into their child's life and they will hate the child most times your mother-in-laws don't like your wives or your husbands or whoever you're bringing is because you've not given them candid reason they still have those crazy perception yes tradition culture religion ethics and all and all. But when you give them strong to say ah, even if this guy is yoruba and i'm Igbo, mommy she has been able to do what an Igbo person cannot even do for me no matter where the person is from so i think we should focus more on why we are getting married to people so that we can be able to explain to our loved ones yeah too. so if you're able to explain to your loved ones why you're actually getting married strong valid reasons let them be able to see your spouses through your eyes i think we will not be having this question of between my mother and my wife. Who am I supposed to love first? Who am I supposed to put first? No, we won't be having all those foolish questions. Now, we don't have daughter-in-laws battling with mother-in-laws or mother-in-laws battling with daughter-in-laws. So I think most times, I feel the men don't play their roles and the women don't play their roles. Everybody just feels that, ah, I found the love of my life. But there's something I realized as a young lady. Everything we do in life, every decision we make in life affects our parents. Because if anything goes wrong, we will go back to our parents. So sometimes our parents are acting the way they act. They are just protecting us because everything that affects us affects them. Always remember that when you want to take that drastic decision without bringing or also remembering their own side. side. Put your parents into consideration. Put your family into consideration because family is one of the places we will run to when everybody runs away from us. I love you guys and have a wonderful
Bueno, 